Hi, this is Nikki, and I'm here to share messages that I get from Spirit and from all of us on this journey to love. <clears throat> and today is the Pisces New Moon. And I just um, pulled an Isis Oracle card. So this is for those who are on a twin flame soul to soul journey. And I wanted to have guidance for what we need to do for the new moon. And um, this is the card. It was the Temple of the Black Obsidian. So I'm going to read it because if anyone wants to do this um, on the Pisces New Moon, then if you take the opportunity to have a lie down, listen to this video and follow the guidance of what it says. And it is about uh, basically releasing and healing the darkness within. So this is the guidance they want to share to do for the Pisces New Moon. And it is this. So if you get the chance, then listen to this when you can relax, so you can lie down. And if you can do it on the evening of the new moon, if you're watching this video today, then it's the perfect time to do it. But any time you're watching this, then it would be a good time. So, beloved initiate, the most challenging task is not to confront an external enemy, but to take courage in both hands and to journey within, to meet our own dark self and begin the healing task of bringing love, acceptance and light to it. That is the sacred purpose of any enemy, within or without, to bring us more deeply into our own being as we seek to find and heal the darkness within. The Temple of Black Obsidian is a ruthlessly honest place of raw love and healing, truly profound and lasting. Deep relief and transformation can occur here. Black obsidian is protective and revealing. It will prevent harm from external or internal forces, but it will also reveal that which has been lurking in the shadows of the self, trying to avoid being brought out into the open for fear of condemnation. The biggest challenge we face in entering the temple of black obsidian is our own unwillingness to love and accept all parts of us. The initiate who is invited to enter the Temple of Black Obsidian enters into his or her own shadow, the part of us that is hidden from our own awareness and is usually only experienced in relationship to others, quite often as a projection. Lady Isis, as the dark priestess of the Temple of Black Obsidian, invites you now to confront the parts of your own ego that you have denied previously. Why? because in doing so, you will gain more freedom, come to know yourself more wholly, and you will find that life experiences, opportunities, relationships, and breakthroughs that you have not been able to reach will suddenly become available to you. The dark chamber always leads to the light chamber, but one cannot avoid the initiation of the Temple of the Black Obsidian on the pathway to more light. Isis will assist you in preparing for this journey by encouraging you to not allow yourself to become your own worst enemy. Most of the fear we have before the dark chamber of healing is the fear of our own self-criticism and rejection. Isis declares that readiness for the dark chamber requires a willingness to exercise non-judgment, compassion and a readiness to accept the self in all expressions. To safely enter the dark chamber and be healed, you must be prepared to give yourself love unconditionally. You must be able to recognise judgments that you hold towards yourself not as truths, but as old patterning. This is why the successful initiation of the dark chamber is a truly advanced stage of soul development. The heart has become willing to love unconditionally and the initiate must be able to witness feelings that arise with kindness and acceptance but not fall into them, overwhelmed, crushed or deflated by any darkness found within. It is worth the challenge because finding peace from pain, self-criticism, self-doubt, fear and self-judgment through healing in the temple is a gift which is beyond measure. And um, it's actually on page 174. <laughs> And somebody sent me a link to a video of 174, the letter that I read. So um, after this, I'm going to read letter 174. So the ritual to enter the dark healing chamber is this. Find a peaceful, quiet place to lie down and rest or sit comfortably where you will not be disturbed and can close your eyes and focus on your breath. 
taking your awareness inside. Become aware of a vast, open, dark space within you, reaching high and wide and filled with a sense of peace. Within that dark space, you become aware of a beautiful winged goddess in a long white robe with a solar headpiece and a crescent moon on her forehead. Her neck and arms are piled with jewellery made of black obsidian, which gleams in the darkness, reflecting the light of her aura and white robe, signifying her great inner sight and wisdom. She gazes at you thoughtfully and then directs your awareness to a great temple in the distance, as if an invitation. If you wish to remain with her here, simply receive her blessed presence into your heart. Rest until you feel ready and then open your eyes. If you wish to continue, follow the remainder of the ritual. If you wish to proceed to the temple, you'll be instantly taken there with her now. At the temple entrance, there is a small antechamber, and as you step inside, you see that it's lined with rose quartz in soft, pink, cool shades. The Lady Isis in her white robe is with you. She suggests that you take as much of this endless love energy that fills the antechamber of rose quartz into your being as you can. It will support you in the Temple of Black Obsidian that lies deeper within the temple complex. You can do this by allowing it to penetrate your heart until you are as full as you can be. The lady offers you a small golden bottle which she has filled with the pure love energy. You can choose to take her gift with you into the dark chamber. Feel the love in your heart and say aloud, I am filled with love unconditional now and I commit to love, honour and accept myself, no matter what I see. I am human, light and dark, and I have been all things. I love all things, and I know that I am none of those things. I am a divine soul. I love, forgive, trust and rescue myself from criticism now, through my own free will as a sovereign being of light. So be it. She steps back from the entrance to the temple and you see through it, entering into a dark chamber paved completely with gleaming black obsidian. The energy within the chamber is neutral and the darkness of the volcanic glass reflects you at all angles and surfaces. You sit quietly in the centre of the temple and become aware of the softness of the rose quartz energy that exists in your heart. You may see, sense or feel all parts of you reflected in this dark cham chamber. You can become aware of yourself in totality. What is your feeling of this? Is it peaceful, confronting, frightening or loving? Or a combination of all of these feelings? If you can, send the love in your heart, the rose quartz energy in all directions, gently touching every surface of the chamber that reflects you back to yourself. If you begin to feel fear, hate, panic or rejection, send more love and if you find it difficult to do this, imagine drinking the gift in the bottle from Lady Isis, the strong love that she gifts to you which will conquer any fear. If you choose to withdraw from the temple at any time, if the process becomes too intense, Isis will guide you back through the Rose Quartz Santee Chamber and back with love to your heart honouring your boundaries and your needs. If you choose to remain in the dark chamber, after some time, as you become peaceful in this space, it will open up like a pyramid unfolding from the inside and you can step out of the top of it, whole and replenished. Lady Isis greets you and offers you another gift, a blessing of pure golden light in your heart. Be aware of your heart and your breath, acknowledging that you have done well. Return to your body now fully, and when you are ready, open your eyes. You can say this incantation at any time you need. Any time you need help in managing a difficult situation that seems to be about another or about an issue within you that is not completely clear. And this is the incantation. And it is, 
I call upon the temple of obsidian black. I call on the love of Isis so strong, stronger than any judgment or attack. It heals and makes whole any past wrong. I now choose to see the truth of my being whole. I see how in this pain I played a role. I choose to let pain of judgment be released. I choose to love and accept with deep peace. Transformation and healing now come to me. I love all parts of my being, infinite and free. Wow. <clears throat> so that was really quite powerful. I felt that as I was doing that, uh, as I was just reading that. Um, so a real time to, you know, if you've had this experience of having fears of, and that rejection energy again, that, you know, if all of those things, you know, that was really powerful to to go into yourself and you can do this any time that something comes up um, and you can repeat this video any time because it's basically going into the shadow to really clear and heal yourself and your twin will reflect that to you so that's the thing you have to see it as a gut as a gift it's tough love but it's bringing you a gift so I'm gonna read letter 174 <clears throat> and it is, love, love, love is the answer. To put it really plain and simple, that love is what I want to say to you. You show me what love is, how love felt, what it is to really love someone unconditionally, to not expect or want anything in return, and not to be expected to be anything to deserve the love. It's a revelation. It's such a freeing knowing within the deepest part of me like you've unlocked something in me and turn a key to let out a secret. The secret is you love me regardless of anything, that I love you, every inch of you for you. And nothing would ever change that. And the feeling of real knowing is so intense. I know now what people mean when they say it was love at first sight, because I felt like I'd been hit by a freight train and every day since I've been trying to rationalise it but I can't. The true fact is, I am madly, badly, crazily in love with you. <clears throat> um, letter 174 from book two is that what you have seen is me, it is seen is me, my spirit, my soul is already with you. We've agreed to be together to help each other on this journey. I'm waiting, but I wanted you to know that I'm here for you, holding your hand, trusting in our divine plan and timing. I know we will be reunited together in our physical bodies soon. It's all coming together. You may not see it, but I can. It's like all the pieces are being brought together. All the souls are uniting to share in this beautiful love and light story. Believe me when I say, it is unfolding. And finally, letter 174 from book three. What an incredible ride we're both going to have. I do hope that you've got your seatbelt fully loaded and ziplock tight. We are going to have a blast. Our love is going to shake the foundations of the world. We are going to set this town on fire. Believe me when I say I have been waiting for you, crying out for this love crying out for you. I want you, all of you, every second, and I want our fantasy life to start right now. Do you hear me? I love you. Well, that is just so lovely to get because on this new moon, um, it is about releasing all of that shadow inside. It is about releasing that and then bringing in more and more light and trust that we are all uniting together to do it. And the goddess Isis is here to help. So there you go, that is the message. Find your inner light within, the golden triangle. All right, I hope that helps. Take care, bye.